everyone. Today we are going to talk about hummingbirds and I am going to get my theater set up and show you how to make some hummingbird food. So if you want to watch the hummingbirds come back um, and visit your yard, you can do this at home also. Um, so the hummingbirds that you will see here in Wisconsin are the ruby-throated hummingbirds that look like these ones on top. So this is the male. He has the bright ruby throat. This is a female who just has like a, a white throat, um, not too flashy, sitting on the nest. They normally have only two eggs each breeding season and they'll make young that looks like this guy. Um, this might be a male but he's just not mature enough to have the bright red plumage. So you might see any of these um, variations of hummingbirds but they're all the ruby throated hummingbirds looks like that. Um, these other hummingbirds down here are in North America, but out west, more like in California and that kind of thing. Um, this is my bird field guide that I love to use when I'm birding. But let's get started. I'll show you what you need to make your hummingbird food. So I have a hummingbird feeder um, I got last year. It's a red glass one, but lots of the ones you see at the store are plastic but they have red on them because hummingbirds are really attracted to that color and that's the kind of flowers that they like. So you'll need a hummingbird feeder. You can buy them at most stores. Um, you will need sugar, um, just regular sugar from the store, not cane sugar or any organic sugar, just your basic sugar that you use to make cookies, um, a measuring cup, and a whisk, and water. So this is very easy to make. Um, I usually just do a really small batch in a measuring cup like this. This has two cups in it. And I just make a small batch because that way I can refill it and clean out my feeder often. Probably about at least every week or every two weeks. That way it's staying clean and the hummingbirds are staying healthy and not getting any bacteria or anything in their food. Um, another thing with that is you might um, think that hummingbirds like red, which they do, and some of the hummingbird food at the store comes with red dye in it, um, but you don't need to buy anything with red dye in it. You can just make the simple recipe at home and it'll be safe for the hummingbirds. So I am going to put one fourth of a cup of sugar in here and then another um, the rest of it up to two cups is going to be water so I'm going to start with that I'm sorry I'm going to do a half a cup and then my other three parts are gonna be of water. So one part sugar, three parts water. All right, so there's all my sugar and I'm going to fill up the rest of the water and sink right here. And now we just whisk until the sugar is dissolved. So this may take a minute or two to get completely mixed in. I like just using this little container too because it pours nicely into my feeder when I'm ready. So when I have this all mixed up, I'll show you guys too where I have my feeder. Um, I put a hook under the overhang of my garage because I heard hummingbirds like to have um, a little bit of protection um, so if you can put it under like the slant of a roof um, might be a good spot. last year I just had it on a shepherd's hook too and it was fine um, I had some really beautiful hummingbirds showing up um, a really pretty male with that really bright throat some females too and then eventually some little ones some babies and um, so I think they nested and had a successful nest nearby and they get to come back in the feeder. So you can start to see it's clearing up a little bit. It's 
a little murky still, so I'm just gonna keep going. The hummingbirds are gonna be very hungry after all that flying. And their wings beat so fast, they use up so much energy. So the sugar water really gives them more energy that they need. And you're really helping the birds survive and be successful and have food so that they can have a nest and have babies. So it's really fun to know that we're helping the hummingbirds. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna pour it in. This probably won't fill up my entire feeder. But like I said, within another week, it's so easy just to mix up another batch. But yeah, I'll just mix up some more later. So this is the flower part. And then the base. I'll just screw on. And then when I get outside to hang it up, I'm going to flip it over. But for now, I'm just going to hold it like this so that it doesn't spill on my way. All right, I'm going to show you where... I have my feeder and I'm excited I heard the hummingbirds are back people have been seeing them um, so I'm excited to get this out there I'm gonna show you my other feeder too that I need to refill all right so out in my yard here I do have a shepherd's hook this is where I had my feeder last year um, but this year, I'm going to put it up on this hook right here that I had set up. So I'm going to flip it over. Oh, it's filling up the bottom there. And I'm going to put it on the hook. There we go. And now we wait for the birds. I hope you can try it at home. Have fun.